everybody! Welcome once again to ApostolicSundaySchool.com, the Daily Devotions Quarantine Edition. You know, sometimes it feels like time flies by, and sometimes it feels like it drags by. Like when you drag your brother down the hallway and he's leaving furrows in the hall as you drag. Don't do that. Don't drag. No, that's not good. Uh, so we're super excited about these daily devotions, but I'm even more excited about the devotions that I'm getting from you guys. There's a lot of you guys that have sent us little object lessons that are so exciting. And like we talked about yesterday, they're getting you to open the Word of God and to study for yourself what God has to say to us. And then you get to teach it to me, and we get to share it with people. That's so exciting. It's so neat, because now you are teaching others about God, and I love it. I got an object lesson for you right now from a very special young person. Let's give a big hand. Everybody, big hand clap, please. Hello. Isn't today just a great day? Today we're going to learn about how Jesus cares for us and for him washing away our sins. See, this one is going to represent the devil is filled with water. The water is going to represent sin. This empty cup is going to represent you or me. And this teapot is going to represent Jesus. And so the devil is trying to trick you. He's getting sin into you, lying, cheating, not obeying your parents. Those are all sins. Of course, everybody sins. And so, remember, even though this one is filled with water, it's still you or me. So this is going to represent God's hand. He's going to lift you up. I cannot believe how good these object lessons are. You guys are just rock stars. Incredible. Now today, I'm going to show you an object lesson. It's going to be short. It's going to be sweet today. <clears throat> I hope sweet. I hope it's not going to taste like a lemon. Ugh. I have this paper here. And I'm going to show you something that you can actually try on somebody else in your house today. You see this piece of paper? This is us. It's you, it's me, and it's everybody that's trying to live for God. And this little piece of paper here... Yep, it's kind of weak. It's kind of floppy. But God has a job for you and a job for me. Everybody has something that God wants us to do. But sometimes we feel like we're not quite up to the challenge. Sometimes we know that God is asking us to do something and we feel like we're too weak to do it. Like maybe back when we used to go to school, maybe there was one of your classmates that you knew that God was telling you that you needed to talk to about Him. Maybe it was one of your friends that you knew that God wanted you to give them a call and say, hey, just thinking about you. I just wanted to invite you to my church. I wanted to tell you about Jesus and what He's done for me. Now that's kind of scary, isn't it? And sometimes we feel too weak to be up to the challenge. Like this. Like maybe, maybe God has a job for us. Now you see this, this is a cup full, a little less than half full of water. And I want this piece of paper, I want you to make a table. I want you to support this cup of water, and I'm going to put this on here, and I want this to hold it just like... Hmm? Huh? Well, that didn't work out very well. Let's try this again. Now listen, I want you to be a table to support the cup of water, just like this. Hmm? 
one more time. Put it back. Cup of water. This time I'm going to put it super gently on it. Okay, it's going to hold. I can tell it's going to. It's just too weak. And you know, sometimes it's easy to give up and say, God, I'm just not good enough. I'm not strong enough. God, I can't do what you've called me to do. I'm sorry, God. And we use that as a cop-out to say, you know what? Because I'm too weak, therefore I don't have to do anything. But the Bible says that if we do His will, if we put God first, it's amazing what He's going to be able to do with our lives. Now remember, you can try this on somebody in your house today. So this piece of paper, oh, but you can only try this on someone in your house if you teach them the lesson while you do it. All right, so the way to do it is to say, Jesus, I know I'm not strong enough. God, I know I'm not where I need to be for you to use me. But God, I want to be. God, I want you to be able to use me. And just that prayer alone is a big first step. Just that prayer alone, God begins to work on you and change you. You know, maybe the next step is to read your Bible. Just open up the Word of God that you have sitting there and say, Jesus, I'm going to find out what you're trying to tell me through your Word. Oh, it says I'm supposed to be a light? It says I'm supposed to be a witness? Okay, God, that's what I want. Maybe, and this is no fun, trust me, I don't like it any more than anybody else. Maybe it's time to fast. Yep, maybe it's time to skip a meal and say, Jesus, I want to do what you want me to do. And with every step that we take toward God, it has a change on our lives. Maybe one time we need to say, you know what, today, today I'm going to skip my video games and I'm going to concentrate on you today, God. And before we know it, it's amazing what God has done with us. We look back over our life and say, wow, when did that all happen? When did God change me into this? Now, before we were pretty weak, and it was tough for God to use us, right? Before I tried to set this on there and it didn't work, right? Well, let's see if a little work from God, if a little work, reading His Word and doing... <gasps> Do you see that? It's working! That's the same piece of paper before. And really, in and of itself, it's just as weak as it was. What changed? Why is it able to be used by God now? What changed is that they let God work on their lives and bend them and change them and move until pretty soon they were so much stronger than they ever could be on their own. I don't know about you, but I want God to strengthen me. I want God to make me more than I've ever been. Now, I got these little pieces of wood, but you don't have to use wood. You can even use books, just a stack of books. Or you can use you know, two cups on either side and put it across, whatever. And this is just a regular piece of paper, just any old piece of paper. And the trick is just to fold it up. And these are maybe an inch wide or so. And you just fold it up nice and neat until you have like this little accordion looking thing, just like that. And then it has so much more strength than it did before. Now you can actually put stuff on it and it can support the weight just like that. Pretty cool. Anyway, until then, God bless you all. Spend time with your families and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.